In the late 1920s, to combat decades of accidents with pedestrians being run over by railway cars running along 10th Avenue, the city and state of New York built about 13 miles of track from 34th Street down to Spring Street. Connecting through buildings such as this one, it allowed goods to be loaded and unloaded without crowding the streets and without running over pedestrians. But trucking soon overtook rail, leading for this track to go unused and abandoned. Enter the High Line, conceived in the 1990s by Joshua David and Robert Hammond, who dreamed of the track then owned by CSX to be turned into a public space. I'm standing in front of the last remaining undeveloped part of the High Line on 30th and 10th, stated to be stage three of the park pending funding. The High Line opened in 2009 from Gansevoort to 23rd Streets and extended to 30th in 2011 is a masterful work of sustainable park design. While the plantings themselves are not original to the tracks, they do harken back to the grasses, wildflowers, and shrubs that grew as the line was abandoned. Further, some of the tracks remain, both as a reminder of the space's original purpose and for practical use. And after two years, the Highline has gained the rare near quality of wild popularity for tourists and natives alike. Additionally, it's been incredibly lucrative for the city. Property costs in the area have skyrocketed. There were 30 projects beginning in this area in 2009, and companies like Google moving in around the park. And it's become a model for park design and adaptive renewal, both in New York and around the world. I'll see you tomorrow.